So I've opened up Visual Studio and I've started a program by adding a comment at the top. I've included the IO Stream library so that I can interact with the console window. And I've created the framework for the main function. So if you're following along, pause the video and get this much in your program and then rejoin me. Now a moment ago when we were talking about random numbers, we mentioned that we need to include another library. So I'm going to go up here to the top of the program after line 4 and I'm going to add the other library or the header file for the other library and that is going to be C standard lib all abbreviated. That's going to allow me to use the rand function. Oh, all right. So I want this program to simulate throwing two dice. So I'm first going to create a variable for the value of each of them. And I'm talking about six-sided dice with this program. Now, that's probably the most common type, but there are other types of dice that have different numbers of sides. So I'm going to create a named constant for the number of sides that I'm using in this program. And I'm just going to call it sides. I'm going to name it with all capital letters because it is a named constant. That name will stand out in my code when I see it and I'll know that it's a named constant. And I'm going to set its value to 6. Now that we have our variables set up, I'm going to now call the random number generator. So it's just a matter of saying rand with empty parentheses. This function does not require any input. And if I called it just like this, I could get a value anywhere from zero to rand max. So we want to limit the values. Our dice only have six sides. So I'm going to use the modulo operator to limit the values that I get. And if I leave my program like this, that's going to give me values between 0 and 5. That's almost what I want, but not quite. We're going to add 1 to the end of that, so that now the values will be between 1 and 6. And I'm going to repeat that statement for the other variable, so that I'll have two different dice. I'll just do copy and paste whenever I'm writing some code that's very similar to other code. I do like copy and paste, but sometimes also when we do it, I need to make sure that we do change what needs to be modified. All right, now that I have the calculations complete, I'm going to output the values of the dice on the window. just like I would do with any other program. And now I want to go ahead and compile it and test it. So I compiled and ran the program. It compiled just fine. And when I ran it, I got the values of 6 and 6 which doesn't look particularly random. So let's run it again. And again, I'm getting values 6 and 6. So we do want to make sure this is actually working. 6 was the maximum value I should get, and I'm getting that both times. So why don't I change the number of sides on the die? and then I'll see what values I get. So let's say I had a 10-sided die. All I have to do is change it in the name constant. We'll see what values we get for that. And this looks a little more like what we might expect from rolling a die with 10 sides. One of them was a two, the other's an eight. So that does look a little better. 
Let's see what we can get when we run it again. And I'm getting the same values. That's a little odd. Let's do it one last time. And once again, I'm getting values 2 and 8. So this program seems to be giving me the same values every time I run it. That's not really a good thing with a random number generator. So we need to take a look at why is this happening? And there is a reason for this. And that's something else that we need to look at. Next.